Today we are talking about it's done and living in the end. So let's get into it, guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And if you're new here, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I'm here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life I have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box, all information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. So today we're talking about leaving the end and it's done. Unfortunately, what I had planned for this week did not work out. It was it had some technical problems, so I am refilming it and I have a huge headache. So I'm really sorry. Those videos are going to be short. <laughs> but I really want you guys to understand what it means leaving the end, the the state of the wish fulfilled, and it's done because those are very important things and I'm going to explain to you the way I see it, okay? The way I feel it, the way it happens in my life. I'm going to share with you some signs and you are going to know when you are living in the end and when it's really done. It's done is not just an affirmation, okay? It's done means there is absolutely nothing else to be done. It's done. There is no messing with the 3D, no manipulation, no creating situations to cause reaction in whatever you are manifesting. So there is absolutely no action that you need to do to manifest anything. It's done. So you feel peaceful. My job is done. What I had to do, I cleared my blocks. I have a positive view of what I'm manifesting. So I have changed my subconscious mind. My mental diet is really good. I have, I rarely have contrary thoughts and stuff like that. So that's, it's done. Okay. And living in the wish fulfilled, in the state of the wish fulfilled, and living in the end, is basically whenever you think about what you want, what you are manifesting, it is the way you want it to show up in your reality. If you're manifesting money, if you're manifesting abundance, then when you think about it, when you think about your bank account, for example, then you feel like, yeah, you know, I have more than enough money. You know, um, every dollar I spend, I get $10 in return. If you're manifesting any specific person, they are the version that you want them to be and you are in the relationship that you want to be with them. This is basically the state of the wish fulfilled. And it's not, I have to visualize every day, twice, three times a day. I have to affirm five times a day. Those things, forget it. Affirming is a technique. It's a technique that is used to change your subconscious mind because we are habit creatures. When you are repeating something, repeating something, you're getting used to it. You're getting used to that thought. So you are changing your subconscious mind. If you don't have what you want in your life, it's because your subconscious mind does not match your intention, what you are creating. So you have to use the force of habit, right? You have to use repetition to create that habit in believing that this is the situation. You repeat the same story. But when it's done, then you got to that point where you have it, where you have this world within you. You feel peaceful, right? And you go doing your thing, living your life. But every time you think about that, what you want, is the version of that that you want. When you get to that state, 
you are in complete peace with whatever is happening in your life. Trust me, this is the most amazing thing because you know with certainty that whatever you want is yours. It is inevitable that it's going to show up in your life. It's certain, as certain as that tomorrow the sun's going to rise. You don't worry about anything. You don't even care about the 3D. It, it could show up completely different and you would be like, every step is taking me to where I want to be. Every step is bringing that to me. Okay. The state of the wish fulfilled is a state of complete surrender. Okay. You accept everything the way it is. And you feel so in peace and abundant and whole inside of you. When I started my conscious manifesting journey, I always heard about, you know, you have to be okay whether you have it or you don't, whether it comes or it doesn't. And I always had some resistance towards that because I thought, if I'm okay with or without, if I don't care if it's coming or not, then maybe I am giving up my wish. And that's not true. When you achieve the state of the wish fulfilled, trust me, it's natural to you to think. Right now, things are so good. Things are so whole inside me. I feel so in peace with that. If you are manifesting a specific person, right? I don't miss my specific person because I have them inside of me. I don't miss texting because I know they are going to text me. So you feel so complete right now that you don't care. You just don't care. You're like, if it comes in an hour, great. If it comes tomorrow, great. In a month, great. I don't really care. Right now, it's fine. I have an amazing life right now. And it's great. Okay. And when you're in that state, what happens usually is when your manifestation shows up, you're like, do I really want it? Do I really want that right now? Yeah, you probably do. Or you don't. Doesn't matter. But you just feel so good. You just feel so good, so in peace. And when you achieve that, then you know it's inevitable. It's certain. There is no doubt in your mind that it's, it's coming, okay? What we have to understand when we are manifesting is that we have our job, you know, clear our blocks and be certain, clear of what we want and achieve that state of the wish fulfilled. Whenever you think about your person, it, they have to be that version that you want. Whenever you think about the relationship, it has to be that version that you want. Whenever you think about your bank account, you know, abundance, your health has to be the way that you want, okay? And when you're doing that, Sure, you may have a human moment and some contrary thoughts, but when you know that the majority of your day is in this positivity towards what you're manifesting, then you're doing it right. Then it's on its way already, okay? That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we are going to talk soon.